Hey guys, got a real quick review for you. This is the Spring Tools Center Punch and Nail Set. Um, this thing is amazing. It helps you get in tight spaces, eliminates the need for a hammer, uh, and it gives you way more accurate nail sets uh, when you're trying to, you know, finish off a, an 18 gauge brad nail or something like that that didn't quite sit flush. All right, so yeah, the idea with this nail set um, and center punch, uh, center punch this end nail set this end. Um, the idea is instead of using a hammer and a traditional nail set to, to drive a proud nail in, um, you just hold this against one side, pull this back, and the spring pulls this mass down and slams it in like it would a hammer. Now the advantage of this is it's much more compact uh, and it's a lot easier to use. So you've got a hammer here um, and then, if you're using a traditional nail set, uh, you've got this extra length, and you know that's pretty much the same length as this thing is, and you've got to have room to swing the hammer too, so you need a lot more space, uh, so if you're in a very compact area, this thing's great, um, and plus, when you're driving a nail, if you get this punch off of the vector you're hitting with the, uh, the hammer here, it can slip off that nail head really easily. With this one, all you have to do is make sure you hold this on the nail, pull back in whatever vector you want to slam it down on, uh, and it takes care of everything. There's really almost no coordination involved with this. Uh, so it makes the job a lot easier and, el and eliminates uh, the possibility for errors. So I'm going to drive a few nails that are going to be proud, and I'm, I'm purposely going to do it. So I'm going to have bad form here when I'm driving these nails, uh, and then... Uh, I'll, I'll use this to set them. Alright, so you can see here, I've got six nails that are all proud. Uh, some of them have a little bit more mangled heads than others, um, but they all need to have a nail set to put them in. Alright, so all I have to do is line this thing up, and then pull back the top. Boom! Nail set. It does put a little divot around it because it's a little bit wider. It's a 2 30 seconds. Um, but you can see how easy this is. Flush. Not quite flush. Give it another whack. There it goes. Way flush. Sub flush. Still a little bit proud. Way sub flush. All right, there it is. All six nails. This little thing works wonders. All right, so you've seen how well this thing works now. Uh, I really love it. Uh, it comes in at price point of twelve dollars. Um, I bought a set of these. I don't know how many years ago. Uh, three of these for eight dollars or nine dollars or something like that. Um, this, do this does have a punch on it, um, so it's, it's not too much more expensive than a regular nail set. Um, and for the ease of use and the versatility, you can get this in smaller spaces uh, than you can with one of these. Um, it's, it's really great, especially for the accuracy it offers. Uh, now you saw it, it handled the, the, those are one and a quarter inch nails I was using, they were 18 gauge. If you're doing 15 gauge nails or 16 gauge nails, um, you know, it might take quite a few more hits to sink one of those sub flush, um, but it should still get the job done unless you're just using, you know, two inch nails, uh, 15 gauge. It might be a little bit tougher to set those, um, especially in a hardwood. I was doing this in pine. Uh, so, highly recommended. If you don't have one of these and you do any sort of trim work with 18 gauge nails, go pick one up. So hopefully this review was helpful, let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below, and once again, don't forget to subscribe.